What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that would help me out immensely. Today we are finally going to be doing some filling upgrades on the Mark II. To those of you who are new to the channel, this is my JZX100 Mark II Tour V 1997 that I purchased from the Japanese auctions back in August of 2022. So it's about five months old and within that five months I did meticulous maintenance on this thing from air to plugs, wires, to changing all the fluids, cooling upgrades. We did so many upgrades to the Mark II and it is running phenomenally. And now we are finally attacking the fuel pump and fuel filter. I only want the best for my vehicles, so I purchased a Detworks fuel pump and an OEM Toyota fuel filter. So here we have the universal kit for the Mark II, or just any car in general, honestly, is the DW300. Comes with the high flow fuel pump. I believe this is rated to upwards to 500 horsepower on pump gas. And then here we have a universal kit. It comes with some clamps, a fuel hose, the sock, and then a universal power source. In terms of the filter, I just went with an OEM Toyota filter. Didn't want to do anything too fancy, but I did want like an OEM plus so I got this all the way from the UK. I could not find this in my hometown, nor that I look honestly, or I couldn't find anything online. But the UK hooked it up. Great, brand new, here's the part number. From videos and forums I've read online, this should be a fairly simple install. First, what we want to do is pop the fuse cover box off and remove the EFI fuse, which is gonna be this guy here. Start the vehicle and relieve all that fuel pressure. Okay, so pop the fuse out. Grab your key and let's relieve that fuel pressure. Next, you want to take the rear seats out. So the this one you just pull up. Mine went up easy because I broke my tabs. And then this one should also just pull up after you take out the four 10 millimeter bolts. Once you have your rear seats out, here's the door to access your fuel pump and for that just use a flathead and pry it off. Now with the door removed you have full accessibility to your fuel pump cradle and this thing is super clean. What do we got? Might be eight millimeter bolts all around. Unplug this connector, plier this off and then I highly recommend you use two blind wrenches to get the female and male side off. Okay so some minor inconveniences so what you want to do on this bottom hose is use your tube line wrench for the male side you want to pull up to loosen and then hold in a fixed position the female side. So as I'm doing that it looks like I'm bending this hard line and potentially looks like it's kinking from the fuel cradle here and or hanger. And I really don't want to kink this because then fuel is not going to flow through this efficiently. It's going to bind up and I honestly do not know where I can get a new fuel hanger for the JZX100 that isn't aftermarket. So at this time, I'm letting the bolts soak in PB Blaster. Gonna go to the gym and get this thing a couple taps with the hammer when I come back and hopefully it loosens up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start knocking out the fuel filter. So I'm just thinking to myself and laughing inside, what if my fuel pump is already upgraded to like a Tomei 255 high flow and I'm doing all this work for nothing, bending lines, Cross my fingers so I don't bend the lines because I really do not want to have to outsource a new fuel hanger. But back onto the fuel filter. Okay, now attacking the fuel filter, which is located underneath your Mark II Chaser Crest in the same location. As you see there, mine's pretty clean, but I'm pretty sure it's very old. What you're going to want to do is loosen the hard lines, the flare nuts, which are both going to be a 14 millimeter. I would also recommend removing this stability bar and then you got two probably 10 or 12 millimeter bolts holding the pump itself or filter. Oh, so that job was fucking horrendous. Got the fuel filter out. It's kind of dirty, so it's definitely an upgrade, but I would highly recommend you do this on at least a quarter tank of gas. I have three quarters tank of gas and honestly, I think I lost about a good half to three quarters of a gallon. It went everywhere, not fun. Here's the inline, this is where all the fuel's gonna spill out and then this is what just feeds through to the front of the car, but I got them capped off. Highly recommend capping them because fuel is going to 
spew everywhere, cut the brackets off. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything in reverse order and try to knock out the fuel pump again. All right, so got the new OEM Toyota fuel filter in. It was a pain in the butt getting it on. Getting it back together is even worse. More, spew, more fuel spewing out. Honestly, probably lost a good gallon of my sweet, sweet 91 octane, but that's okay. Everything's good, just hose it down with some brake clean. Now I'm going to reattempt to pull my fuel pump and hopefully I don't break my hard line. Okay, so we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is the Mark II is sounding even more healthier than before after replacing the fuel filter. My brother and I opened up the old fuel filter and it was just completely contaminated. I feel so bad. I also did went ahead and re-tighten all the bolts and refitted my Tomy exhaust. And a lot of the hardware was a little bit loose. She's sounding really good right now. And unfortunately for the bad news, I could not get the DW300 installed in this video. I tried again on the hardline mill that goes into the female fitting and it just will not budge. I fixed the kink that I made. Happy, for, love that for me. But I ended up slightly warping the hard line and I don't want to warp it anymore and then I'm breaking it and then I'm out. My Mark II because I do not know where I could source an OEM fuel hanger for the Mark II. My only option would be to run a external fuel cell and get a new hanger from radium and all that fun stuff. Something I definitely do not want to do right now, but the Mark II is running good. I have the garage aired out. My house smells like fuel. Love that for me and my brother. Fun times, fun times. But not too much of a exciting video, guys. My apologies. Soon we will get the DW300 fuel filter or fuel pump installed. And also word on my serial nine control arms. I need the rear lower arm and the rear toe arm. They are still about five weeks away. I hit up serial nine and they said they're finishing the welding process. Then they go to the anodizing process and then looked over and then shipped to me. So another five weeks. So hopefully mid-March I'll be able to get my serial nine arms that I can start dialing in more of the suspension on Mark II. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch the next video. Take care.